Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to season four here in the New York Jets franchise. Now, in the off season, we didn't make a ton of moves, but we did acquire a new cornerback in the draft in the first round, and Von White, hidden Dev Trey. He is a lanky corner, six foot two, two oh one. He also has very good man coverage skills. So we're going to play a lot of man coverage. We picked up JP Holiday in the third round as well, and those were probably our best two draft picks along with Brooks, who was our second round pick at defensive tackle. But he's kind of the future. We're going to wait for him. In free agency, we signed two linemen in Sheldon Richardson, bringing him back to the Jets on a one-year deal, and then signing Roger Saffold on the offensive line, moving on from Connor Williams via trade. Now, we go up against the Cowboys in the opener, and they drafted Metropolis' best running back ever in Roy Toth. They have probably the best running back duo now with Ezekiel Elliott and Roy Toth. That's going to be a scary backfield. And then we go up against the former St. Louis State River Cat, Bryant Britt, maybe one of the best defensive players I've ever had on this channel. And then how about season one's original walk-on, Leon Christopher from the River Cats Dynasty. Now, I did not expect him to be on this roster. I was looking through the roster and I was like, whoa, Leon Christopher? And he worked his way up and is now 76 overall. I believe he started this franchise at 66. He's now at 76 after three seasons. So let's get season four underway. Dak Prescott versus Chance Tyree in his second year. Dak is coming in at 88 overall, looking to get the Cowboys back into glory. They had a top five pick this year. They're looking to get back on top. So the first handoff this time is to Ezekiel Elliott, and he breaks a tackle, picking up a gain of eight. Now our defense looks slightly different. We have Von White on the outside, obviously, but here is a scramble this time, and it's fumbled by Dak. Ashton Davis strips it from behind. A turnover right away. How about Ashton Davis? He has played that nickel corner position since probably the beginning. I think he took over at about week eight in season one. Has not given that back, and that guy is just amazing. So Ashton Davis makes the first, forces the first turnover of the year, and out comes our offense. Not many changes on offense, to be honest, except for offensive line. So the first carry out to the right side is going to be Dwayne Lincoln for the first play of the offense here in season four. It's a gain of three yards. So second and seven this time. Great blocking up front. Here's Tyree taking it outside. He scrambles for a gain of six, bringing it to the 31. Handoff, Dwayne Lincoln on a third and two. And we pick up our first first down of the season. Dwayne Lincoln for two yards. So now at the 26-yard line this time, Tyree throws to the right side, and it's caught. Jamison Crowder with the catch, beating Bryant Britt, the firm, former River Cat. And now we get it with goal to go. Here's a handoff this time. Deion Carter inside, and he gets inside the five. As that eventually brings it to the one-yard line. Here for a third and goal. We're going to pitch it out this time. It's going to be Lincoln, and he can't get to the edge. Great defensive effort by the Cowboys, and we will settle for three on this first drive. So here is Dak out onto the field, handoff Ezekiel Elliott, and he picks up a gain of five, and Amari Cooper is already down. It looks like an off-ball injury. He will have to come out of the game. So now they get it to a third and five this time at the 30. Dak throws to the left side, and he's got C.D. Lamb beating the rookie cornerback Von White that time. Gain of about 19 yards. It's a first down. So they eventually get it across the 50 now. Here's a stretch play to the left, and that's Ezekiel Elliott who can't get to the outside. Blake Cashman's got the speed to catch up with him, and Quentin Williams is also there for the stop. So third and three at the 44 again. Throw to the right side this time, and it's caught. And that is over Levi Wallace, who has been playing extremely well for us, to be honest, ever since acquiring him in free agency after season one. 
So here's a throw to left side, and that is going to be knocked away. Von White, good defensive play. They try to pick on him again. That eventually brings it to a third and 13. Now at the 35-yard line, this time Dak in the pocket. He's going to throw to the right side, and open tight end Blake Jarwin. He gets to the 19, first down for him. Dak is five for six to start this game. So now inside a field goal range at the 19-yard line. They come out here with four wide, and it looks like with a tight end, throw across the middle, and CeeDee Lamb, touchdown, beating the rookie Von White. And that is going to be the first touchdown given up by this Jets defense. This Dallas team is pretty loaded on both sides of the ball, and they take the 7-3 lead. So here is, that's going to be Deion Carter with the screen pass, and he picks up. A first down on that catch. So now to end the first quarter, handoff. The longest run of the day so far. Dwayne Lincoln up the middle. It's about a gain of 13 yards for a first down. So under center to start the second quarter this time. Play action fake. He throws on the run. Tyree, he's going to find Christopher Herndon for a gain of nine, who's really taken a back seat to Tariq Macklin here in this series. And we did extend him as well. So he is still under contract for a couple of more years, but Christopher Herndon is definitely just a backup at this point now. So first and 10 now at about the 35 yard line. Here's a lob to the sideline and it's caught. Jamison Crowder had to go up and get that one and he brings it in, bringing it to a third and three at the 28. Play action fake this time. Tyree throws to the sideline and it's picked off. That's Bryant Britt. He was covering Crowder, and he just read that route like it was nothing. Look at that play by Bryant Britt. I mean, yeah, he was on Jamison Crowder, and that was a great play that time. I don't think it was a bad throw, just a better play on the ball. And now here comes the Cowboys back on an offense. Here's the first pass out to the right side. It's caught. Ezekiel Elliott out of the backfield, and he picks up about a gain of six yards. So third and four at the 31. This time, Dak tries to roll out. He's got tons of room, and he will throw it all the way across the field. He's got a man. It's Ezekiel Elliott, but a flag on the play. You got to think that flag was thrown right when he crossed the line, and it will be an illegal forward pass. Now, why wouldn't he scramble on that play? He had nothing but daylight in front of him. So the Cowboys are forced to punt this time. First pass of the next drive, and it's going to be caught. Jamison Crowder for a first down. So now at the 44, pitch play out to the right side, and Lincoln gets pushed out of bounds here. Five minutes left in the first half. So now we have it on the other side of the 50. Here's a quick throw, third and five, and that is deflected. It looks like he was looking for Crowder in the slot, but he was pushed off of the line, kind of thrown off of his route. And we go forward here on the 39. Throw to the sticks, and it's caught. Deshaun Purnell, he gets the first down for his first catch of the year. So I usually only go for it on fourth down if it's right in four down territory. Either it's going to be like a fourth and inches, fourth and one. On the other side of the 50, as we throw deep inside the five, and Denzel Mims stretches out for the pylon, and it's almost a touchdown. They mark him out at the one. And now we get it under center now at the two-minute warning. Handoff, Dwayne Lincoln, touchdown. The first one of the season goes to the rushing touchdown leader a year ago. Dwayne Lincoln gets his first of the season, and it's now 10-7. to seven. So here are the Cowboys back on offense under two minutes left. Here's a quick throw to the right side, and Dak finds his target that time. And it's another first down here for the Cowboys. They've been moving the ball well. Quick throw to the left side. Caught once again, C.D. Lamb. So they hurried up again this time. First and 10 at 38. Dak throws the exact same routes. And it's there beating Von White again. Another first down. So now they're at the 25-yard line. 50 seconds left here. Yeah, Dak is going to get swallowed up. And that is Sheldon Richardson's first sack. Welcome back to the Jets. Remember, he was drafted by the Jets, left for, uh, played for a couple of teams, and now he's back once again. Here, third and 17, quick throw, and it's going to be caught. 
And that is, that is going to be a field goal opportunity. But look at this. The clock runs out. The Cowboys had a timeout there, and Mike McCarthy just did not call it. I'm not sure what just happened. They let the time run out instead of calling that timeout. It's 10 to 7 going into half. So now we start the second half. What a blunder by the Cowboys there. I'm not sure what happened. The runoff must have thrown them off. Usually the CPU even calls, still calls a timeout, even with the runoff, and they didn't that time. So now we have the ball to start the second half this time. At the 35, throw across the middle. It's picked off. Jalen Smith. He was there right sitting in the middle of the defense, and we should have lobbed at that time. We saw him, but we thought the ball was going to be led a little bit more, and Jalen Smith takes advantage, and now the Cowboys start back on offense with great field position. So here is Dak this time, rolling to the left side. He's going to throw across this body, and he's got a man inside the 10-yard line. Look at Dak. He's been making throws all day. And now they get it set up with goal to go at about the eight. Here's Dak in the pocket, throws across the middle, and he's got C.D. Lamb, I believe. Oh, no, that's uh, Ezekiel Elliott. And he picks up about a gain of four yards. So third and goal, Dak yeah, gets he's... sacked on the play. The ball is on the ground, and it's picked up. Solomon Thomas in that Sheldon Richardson for his second sack of the game. He's had a great debut so far. Welcome back to the Jets. And we take back over here, still the three-point lead. So first pass is deep across the middle, caught. Denzel Mims. How about the season that he had to end the year? And it looks like he's carrying that over. He's got three for 74 here so far in this game. So here is Tyree this time, moving to the right side, buying some time and throws, and he's got Jamison Crowder to the 13, and that's a first down. And Tyree looks good on the first couple of passes of this drive. So now at about the six yard line, we're gonna hand off, Dwayne Lincoln runs over a defender, touchdown! He's in, making it a two score lead here. Looks like Tariq Macklin was shaking up on that play. And now it's a 17 to seven lead here for the Jets. So here is Dak back on offense, finding Blake Jarwin, and he has not missed many passes in this one. He's 15 for 20, and a first down across the 50 right away. So they're just at the 50 now, at the 49. Dak in the pocket, throws deep, one-on-one -on -one for Levi Wallace, and Michael Gallup comes up with it. Tackle at the four. I don't know what happened. I think that may have been out of the reach of Levi Wallace. He did not attempt to even swat that pass. So now they're at the three-yard line this time. Here is Dak. He takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, making Blake Cashman miss on that juke move. And he gets in, bringing it back to a three-point game. So here are the Jets back out onto the field. He's going to hand off this time Tyree to Deion Carter, who can't find any room. That's maybe a gain of one. So now at our own 26 this time, Tyree in the pocket, throws deep again, and he's got Mims up the seam. First down. We tried that play earlier, and it worked. We went right back to it, and they were in that. I think that was a cover two they were just in, and now Denzel Mims is over 100 yards with that catch. So here is Dwayne Lincoln getting another big run. He's only at 53 yards rushing, but this Cowboys defense is pretty good stopping the run. So play action fake now at the 20, second and 10, rolling to the right side. Tyree, he's just going to take it himself and step out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. So Tyree now, third and five. He's gonna take it himself to the right. He's gonna get down and he gets to about the seven yard line, picking up the first down now, goal to go. So now at the seven, first and goal this time, Tyree. He's gonna face some pressure and he goes down. It's Bryant Britt. Great play on that one. He's got an interception and a sack. And now that winds the clock down inside of 10 seconds left here in the third quarter, third and goal. And he gets sacked. Tyree can't get rid of it. Might as well get sacked in the middle of the field, though, instead of forcing the ball. And it's now a six-point game. 
So Dallas comes back out onto the field this time, throwing across the middle is Dak, and he's got Blake Jarwin. He's had a pretty good game so far, picking up a gain of seven yards. So no sign of Roy Toth so far. Ezekiel Elliott's in on a third and three. Pitch play out to the right side, and it's a stop. How about the third round rookie, J.P. Holiday, for his first big tackle of the series? And we get the punt. So now here's our offense back out onto the field now. Here's Chance Tyree under center, handing it off to Dwayne Lincoln. And not much running room for Dwayne in this game. He's bringing it to a third and three. Handoff, Deion Carter. And he picks up eight yards for the first down. So our pass game has really been struggling. We've thrown two interceptions so far. Denzel Mims is having a good game, though. Let's see if Chance Tyree can get into the end zone on this drive. Tyree rolls to the right side, throws that way. He's got Mims who puts on a move. It's a touchdown. He comes right back into the end zone. How about the moves by Denzel Mims? Wide open, just sitting there. Cuts up field, though, and makes a man miss. That's Denzel Mims. I think this is his year to really solidify himself as a top even five receiver in the NFL. So we go for two this time to make it a two-score game, and it's good. 14-point lead here for the Jets. As here come the Cowboys back on an offense, looking to get back in this game, but only five minutes left. Here's Dak this time, rolling out to left side. He finds Ezekiel Elliott, but out of bounds. As now that brings it to a third and 10. Dak tries to move. He's trying to get away, but not this time. Quinnen Williams with the sack. Fourth and 22. So some improbable thing will have to happen at this point. Fourth and 22. Here is Dak in the pocket. Throws across the middle. He's had a man broken up. Alex Hopkins on the coverage. And that one will give us possession back with great field position. So here with three minutes left, here's a handoff. And it's going to be Dwayne Lincoln for the touchdown. And that one should seal this game up. It was close all the way until the fourth quarter, but now we're up by 21. It looks like the Cowboys are going to lose this game by three scores as one more time. Dak goes down. Brad Matthews gets involved, and that one will end this game. 35-14. to 14. We did turn the ball over, but we did take the ball away twice as well. And Dak didn't look too bad, but our defense looks really good. Von White, I think, had some jitters in that one. He gave up a couple of plays, but he did make some plays on the ball for sure. I think they were just picking on him early, and I think that he recovered pretty nicely. Dwayne Lincoln had three rushing touchdowns, 21 carries. We always want to get him his carries. That's our goal each week to make sure we don't forget him in the running game. And then how about the coming out party? I think that Denzel Mims is about to have this season five for 165 and a touchdown. He was pretty much unguardable. His speed, his size, and now his route running has truly come into play. It's going to be a treat to see Von White actually did pretty good on the outside. Like I said, I think that he made a pretty good impact, a pretty good impression on this defense. But how about Sheldon Richardson in his first game back with the Jets? He had a one and a half sacks and honestly impressed there up front. We didn't we don't really have that much pass rush at the nose tackle position. So seeing that he got it to the quarterback is a good sign going forward. Ezekiel Elliott only had nine for 16. No Roy Top in this game because he didn't even have a carry. Dak threw for 312, a touchdown and no interceptions. And then Bryant Britt. Obviously had that big game on defense, an interception, and a sack. So player upgrades. Denzel Mims goes up right away at 85 overall. He looks very, very good. I'm ready for this season that he's about to have. But we do have some bad news. Tariq Macklin is going to be out with a knee cartilage tear. And that's the reason why you have two good tight ends. We have Christopher Herndon. He will fill in and for the next four weeks will be the starter. But Tariq Macklin got an upgrade right there. Chuma Idoga, our right tackle, we signed to a contract extension last season. He goes up and he gets upgraded to 79 overall. Still in his mid-20s, 
number 17 overall right tackle as far as overall goes he was really good that game as well von white in his first ever game gets an upgrade in plus two man so I'm going to play a ton of man this year, and I like the duo of Levi Wallace and Von White on the outside. Chris Rhodes, who I said is going to be the future at nose tackle. We drafted him in the second round. I'm not in a rush to put him out onto the field. He'll get onto the field in the rotation, but I'm definitely not in a rush there. And then Deion Carter has an upgrade as well. He is that third down back, and he goes up plus one speed. So now at 92 speed, he is a great spell back for Dwayne Lincoln. Now, I'm not sure if we went over the schedule in the offseason, but we have the toughest schedule of this series for sure. We play every single team that made the playoffs last year in the AFC, and even some teams that made the playoffs in the NFC. And, you know, this is a very, very tough schedule. I think the worst team on this schedule is the Dolphins and maybe the Bills. And the Bills went 10 and 6 last year, and the Dolphins were only, what, two, three games under 500? I mean, this is going to be a very, very tough schedule. So next week, we go up against the Raiders, who were the number one seed in the AFC last year. But now they have a new quarterback. No more Derek Carr. They signed Teddy Bridgewater in the offseason. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. We will get through a couple of games next episode. So stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah, hey, filling out these job applications. Life got hard after high school graduation. I went to college and your boy got financial aid. They gave me money, then I went and bought a pair of J's. And I bought a pair of shades. And I bought a new computer. Half a hundred dollars left. Spent the rest.